Hey everyone, hope you're all doing great. Myself, Jeevita. In this video, I'm going to discuss about introduction to statistics. You know, we all live in the world of data. For any organization, in order to understand what exactly is happening in the business, obviously, they need a concept of statistics. Without the knowledge of statistics, it's really hard to understand what exactly is happening. It's really hard to understand the data that is generated by any organization. Well, that's where, you know, the concept of statistics plays a very important role. In this video, I'm going to discuss about an introduction to statistics. Well, firstly, let's see what is statistics, what's the definition? You know, statistics is a branch of science which deals with collecting, analyzing, interpreting, and presenting data. So what do you mean by that? Statistics is composed of four things. We try to collect data, we try to analyze, we interpret, and finally we present that data to the stakeholders. Let us try to understand this definition by taking a simple instance. And also, we'll try to understand why statistics, why it's very important to have a knowledge of statistics. Let's imagine that you are working in a Flipkart company. Everyone knows about a Flipkart as one of the e-commerce company. Well, if you want to analyze how exactly the business of Flipkart is happening, if you want to understand that, definitely you need a concept of statistics. Let's understand like how statistics is applied to understand this business. A very first thing, you need to try to collect data from you know multiple sources. When I say Flipkart, the data related to a Flipkart company will be in a different databases, different storage system. Try to gather all those data from multiple sources. Once you collect our data, what do you do? We all know that just by looking at our data, we can't really understand anything. You need to analyze it. How do you understand data? How do you analyze our data? So that can be done with the help of a statistical summary. Like we try to find the total sales, total profit. Uh, how many orders are there? What's the average profit? What's the minimum sales? What's the maximum sales? So we try to apply certain statistical terms in order to understand the data. And then it's really hard to understand data just by looking at the numbers. So for that, what we do, we just try to do analysis by using different graphs or a visualization. The easiest way that anybody can understand data is just by plotting different graphs. You can see here, we have a line chart, which basically gives an information about your voice sales. And we have a subcategory-wise profit, and we have region-wise sales, state-wise profit, category-wise sales. So we use our different graphs to analyze what exactly is happening in our business to make a better decisions. Once you create a plot, once you visualize what you have to do, you need to interpret. You need to tell what did you understand from a graph what interpretation you are getting from each graph or from your analysis. So here you can see in a year-wise sales that is in a line chart, it shows clearly the line, the peak you can see at the 2020. That means sales is very high in the year 2020 and sales is le least in you know, 2018. If you look into our region-wise sales, in a north region, the sales is very high and the second highest is south and we could see very less sales in the east region. The next thing is subcategory wise profit. You can see here out of arts, phones, and our chairs, profit generated by phones is like very high. It's almost about like 60%. And the next one, state wise profit. If you want to understand which state is doing really good, which state is doing really bad, in that case, visualization plays a very important role. You can see here in New York, the sales is very good compared to California. Well, this is all about, you know, we interpret the results from whatever analysis we did. All right, we collected data, we analyzed, we interpreted the results. Now the question is, what do you do? The final thing is, you need to present this report to the stakeholders because stakeholders are the one who's responsible to take a business decisions. If something is wrong, if sales is less in certain region, you need to focus on improving the sales. If certain product is not really good, 
if you are getting a negative comments or you know you are getting a negative feedback if sales is less profit is less then you need to focus on improving that product or else you should focus on you know introducing a new product so all this business decisions could be taken only after doing analysis so that's where the concept of statistics plays a very important role so nowadays we feel we know that you know the buzzwords like a data analyst and data scientist these are like a buzzwords like everyone are looking towards those two domain you might wonder we do all these analysis even using our data analysis and our data science concept now the question is 30 40 years ago we didn't had any data science or a data analysis even during that time people data analysis but how did they do just with the help of a statistics so that's the reason statistics basically helps you in handling you know very small amount of data if you want to handle huge amount of data then definitely we need some advanced tools that's where the concept of you know data analysis and data science concept have been evolved but still the base for all those domains it starts statistics is very important if you are the one who is aspiring to become data scientist or a data analyst i know stats and maths are not a easy cup of tea but still stats is very important so this is all about you know the definition of statistics hope it's clear thank you happy learning